Hey there, in this Webflow tutorial, I thought it'd be pretty cool to create a less obtrusive modal. So instead of appearing on the middle of the screen, I'll have it appear on the bottom right and slide up and slide down after the user has been on the website for a certain amount of time. The reason I want to do this is just like in real life, we've all had that situation where we're at our favorite store and within two seconds, we have a salesperson coming up to us asking if we're interested in anything. Do you want to look at this? Do you want to look at that? And you're just like, I just want to browse. Well, the same thing applies to the internet, both literally and figuratively. So let's let our users browse our website. So let's create a modal that's less obtrusive and lets them enjoy and browse our website. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop in a div block. So I'm gonna do control E, put in a div block. And I'm gonna move this div block to the top underneath the body. And I'm going to give it a name of slide modal. And we're going to position it fixed to the bottom right. Feel free to make yours whatever fits your project. If you want it to slide in from the left, from the top. For this tutorial, I want to have it slide in from the bottom right. And then we'll give it some width and height. I'm going to make mine 350 pixels by 350 pixels. Some nice even numbers then we'll give it a background color of white and we'll move up the z position so we can see it and then we'll give it some padding so something nice even and round let's try 40 pixels So we'll drop in a heading and we'll have this say need to speak to an attorney and then we'll add in the form block And now let's drop in a link block that will house the close icon that will allow the user to close the modal. So we're going to do control E, link block. We're going to name this close wrapper. Give it a position of absolute to the top right. And in this close wrapper, we're going to drop in an image. And this image is going to be our X icon. And let's make this with 12 pixels for now. And on the close wrapper, we'll adjust the margin so it's not on the edges. So let's try 12 on the right and 12 on the top. And we'll see how that looks. That's good enough. I'm not going to worry about styling the form for right now. I want to show you the interaction. So feel free to style it however fits your project. I'll just change the button so the blue doesn't stand out so much. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have it after a certain amount of time, have it slide in. So that way the user can view the website for a little bit and then we'll have the modal and then we'll have it close out when the user clicks on the X. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the slide modal. We're gonna go to set up an interaction. We're gonna go to element trigger and do a scroll into view. We're gonna start an animation and we're gonna call this slide modal up here and we're going to have it move and we're going to set the duration to zero because we want this to be the first interaction we're going to have it move it down 500 pixels and then we're also going to set up a hide show we're going to set it to hidden because sometimes with interactions it can get there can be a little glitchy sometimes. So we don't want to have it where as soon as the user clicks on the website, it sees it for a second and then it goes away. So we're going to set the default to be hidden 
And then afterwards, we're also going to set the modal itself to be hidden on the navigator. So then we're going to take this move and put it with the hide show. And then we're going to add another hide show, set the delay to three seconds. So it will appear three seconds after the user has been on the website. Set the display to show. And then we're going to add a move that will go with the three second hide show. Set the duration to one. Now I'm just using what I like to use for interactions. Feel free to adjust the duration or the easing to whichever you prefer. I'm going to set the easing to out court and I'm going to set the position to zero pixels. So that way it will look like this. And it slides up. Now we have to animate it. So when the user clicks on the X link block, it slides down. So we hit save. And then we'll go to our close wrapper link block. Go to the interactions tab, set up a mouse click interaction, start an animation. And we'll call this one close modal. And then we're not targeting the link block. We're closing the entire modal. So before we set up an action, let's grab the entire modal and then set the action to move. Have the duration to one second. I'm going to make the easing this time to in court since it's reversing the coming in interaction. And I'm going to have it go down 500 pixels. So if we preview that real quick, it slides in, we're going to close on the X and it slides down. And sometimes the Webflow interactions and animations, there could be some glitches. So I always, I'm going to go to the slide modal. And I'm going to set the default in the navigator to be hidden. And then because we have it appearing as part of the interaction. So if we check out the previewed site, we don't see it. We're going to wait our three seconds and then it's going to appear. And we'll close it. And there it is a simple sliding modal that's less obtrusive than just appearing in the middle of the screen. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.